come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Eternal King Christ Jesus, Lord, the Father's perfect Word and Son, to your own image in your love, you first created sinless man. And when the enemy of good deceived our race and brought it low, you chose our nature to assume with virgin mother's free consent that so uniting God and man you might for guilty man atone that pardon through redeeming blood in Christ all men should be baptized. You chose to die upon the cross to save us all from lasting death. You shed your blood in sacrifice to win us endless happiness. Once risen and in glory do, with God the Father now you reign, and we believe with hope and love that we through you shall rise again. O Jesus, be our Easter joy, which never fades from grateful hearts. May all of us your triumph share, reborn and radiant with grace. All glory, Jesus, be to you, who conquered death and reigned supreme resplendent with the Father's power and with the Holy Spirit's light. Amen. This momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal glory. Alleluia! Rescue me, Lord, from evil men, from the violent keep me safe, from those who plan evil in their hearts and stir up strife every day who sharpen their tongue like an adder's, with the poison of viper on their lips. Lord, guard me from the hands of the wicked, from the violent keep me safe. They plan to make me stumble. The proud have hidden a trap, have spread out lines in a net, set snares across my path. I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Lord, hear the cry of my appeal. Lord, my God, my mighty help, You shield my head in the battle. Do not grant the wicked their desire, Nor let their plots succeed. Those surrounding me lift up their heads, let the malice of their speech overwhelm them. 
Let coals of fire rain upon them. Let them be flung in the abyss no more to rise. Let the slanderer not endure upon the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to death. I know the Lord will avenge the poor, that he will do justice for the needy. Truly the just will praise your name. The upright shall live in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. This momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal glory. Alleluia. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Alleluia. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord, I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me, but you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge, all I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry. For I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me may the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumph. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. My shield, my place of refuge, he brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, read them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. 
I will play on a ten-string blue. Do you who give kings their victory? Who set David your servant free? You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes. Whose mouths were filled with lies. Whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, Myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumph. Hallelujah. and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor for the glory to your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this. Let him who thirsts come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You alone are holy, you alone are God. letter to the Hebrews. Son, though he was, Christ learned obedience from what he suffered, and when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, designated by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek.
mode 2. Purgem sanctam subit, quae in per non confregit, acintus es potentia, surexidiet et tertia, alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has loved with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Crucem sanctam subit, qui in vernum contregi, ac cintus es potentiam, let us praise Christ, the source of all life and the foundation of all virtue. Kiri eleison. Jesus, our Savior, you died in your human nature, but were restored to life by the Spirit. Make us die to sin and live by the Spirit. You send your disciples into the whole world to preach the gospel to every creature. Inspire those who preach the gospel to live by your Spirit. All power in heaven and on earth has been given to you to bear witness to the truth. Keep the hearts of those who govern us faithful to the truth. You make all things new and command us to wait and watch for your kingdom. Grant that the more we look forward to a new heaven and a new earth, the more we may seek to better this present world. Pray for the members of the National Leadership Network and for the incoming uh, class at SJI. For Pure Notre Dame High School, Bicentennial High School, the Mellie family, and for a special attention. For All Souls Parish and School, for Father Sam. You went down among the dead to bring them the good news of the gospel. Be the great joy and hope of all the dead. 
Kyrie eleison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you worthy prayer, and to ever extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And, and also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of April the 25th. Feast of St. Mark, Evangelist. He accompanied St. Paul and his cousin Barnabas during their first missionary voyage to Cyprus. Afterwards, he supported the apostle during his imprisonment in Rome. The oldest testimonies present him as the interpreter of St. Peter's catechesis and as the preacher of the good news in Egypt. His relics carried to Venice in the 9th century, were partially restored to the Patriarch of Alexandria by Pope Paul VI as a sign of the desire for communion between the Roman and Coptic churches. The year of the Lord, 479, the martyrdom of St. Stephen, Bishop of Antioch. He died at the altar under the hands of the Eutychians, for having confessed Christ, true God and true man. Blessed Benedict the Twelfth, Pope, who returned to the Father at Avignon in the year of grace 1342. As his abbot of Pamphroy, he became Bishop of Pamiers and of Mirefort, France. Appointed to the See of Peter, he sought to reform ecclesiastical discipline. The same day, the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, town, and nation who have entered into eternal glory. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary, that never, never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or, or sought thy intercession, was ever not donated. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, let thy mercy hear and answer me. Alleluia. Qui agwe meruisi portare, Alleluia. Resurrexi, sicudixi, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaude letare Virgo Maria, Alleluia. Qui assurexi Dominus Dere, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus, qui per resurrectionem filii tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, mundo nidificare dignatus es, resta quesumus, ur per eus genitricim virginem Mariam, perpetue capiamus gaudia vitae, per eunem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen.